An unidentified female Caucasian has been found dead on a beach in Micronesia. Experts are puzzled by the bite imprint, which appears to be from a great white shark, previously never known to swim within a thousand miles of these islands. Call me, please. I just had a really bad dream. Love you. Government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on animals is expected to become law today. Animal rights activists have been pushing for the bill for nine years and have taken part in mass demonstrations throughout the nation. It's expected the bill will outline just what animals will be allowed to be used in the labs, along with penalties for the offenders. 36 hours of steady rainfall have left many homes in the metro area knee deep in floodwaters. Power was out for three hours Mom? in Eastern Metro because of downed hydro lines. Hi, girl. At least no, I can't no reach her. Reported. Is she okay? Take at least two days. Damage to homes and property is pegged okay. $3 million. I will be on the first flight tonight. Fighting broke out overnight between Bye. rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. Initial reports claim Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base, killing at least 49 people. Auntie Lucy will take care of you for a while, okay? Okay? Hey Guru, please tell me you heard from her. Hey. Hey, oh. hi. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember to remove the battery out of your phone during the flight? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's go. Your mother was been acting strange. Past tense. Why? I have not seen her in three days, making it present tense. My mother is a dreamer and 
Most dreamers are strange. <laughs> Where would the world be without dreamers? Stone Age. <laughs> Probably. But your mother was acting really strange for herself. Guru, when you say someone is acting strange, they're either normal or they grew a third eye. <laughs> I mean a third eye kind of strange. Meaning? Hmm. Your mom hooked up with this scientist guy, and he's also missing. Define hooked up. He thought they had a thing going on. A thing? The day your mom vanished, she came to me and told me she had a breakthrough. But she was afraid of the repercussions. Could you be more confusing? All right. Last time anyone saw your mom, she went to go visit the scientist guy. He wasn't really her type, but... I don't think he got that message. Okay, this doctor, does he have a name, address? Yes and no. His name is Dr. Mitchell Linenrose. He has no address. Your mom didn't want people to know where she was when she wasn't with us. Your mother had a secret lab that wasn't really a secret because she made a video in front of the lab she dreamed of but she had a real one in a secret location. I think the team's gonna be a little better at answers than I Wow, a random word generator would be better. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Pong here. We are finally here at this beautiful island. Look behind me, amazing. But take a look at the trash. Make sure that you are sharing the knowledge with everybody. We do not want this world to be polluted. We love the dolphins. We love the ocean. Yes! We are here with my lovely friend, Dean. Dean, tell us, what is the biggest issue with pollution? Plastic is found everywhere, the world over. It's found in food packaging, it's found in household goods, it's found in electronics. A piece of plastic like this can break down and kill over a thousand fish. We have to fix this. It's not just about reducing the use of plastic, it's about coming up with something to replace plastic. And that's where science comes in. And that's where we need you. We need young minds to help work on the problem, to come up with something that's gonna work for the future and solve this issue. If you can be a hero, join us. And instead of just waiting for you, I'm gonna get started now. It starts with me. To find out more information, go to hashtag trash tag team and Add all of your videos, all of the information. Let's encourage the world to save the planet one trash pickup at a time. Please share and subscribe. Thank you. What up, Shales? Hey, Luca. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, smile! Okay. Uh, okay, second pose, second pose, okay. And another one, just in case. Same palm, same palm. Make sure. Thanks. I'm sure your mum's fine. She's just working on something, keeping her busy for a few days. I'm glad you found an excuse to come and see us, though. Yeah. Hey, Dean, why don't you help Sheila with her bags? Let's get on the ferry. Ready?
Walter, you touch this phone? I'm trying to be over. You like the coconut? Huh? I would really use some coffee. So, Starbucks, where we're going. I just want to say I'm sorry about my mind and my mouth. Sometimes they're not always in sync. Are you sure, Esteem, is that my mother is okay? I'm not really sure. I kind of have this sixth sense. Uh, I don't know. Is anyone notified the police? You know, I only trust you and your mother. Oh, oh seriously, we need all help we can get. I know. I know. I just, I just don't trust anybody. I've been hurt too many times. Yes, but maybe they know little Rose or can locate him. That's not even his name. It sounds like a fake alias, some crazy name. I, I don't know. Welcome. I think you're going to find this room very comfortable. This is where your mother stays. You can stay here until she shows up. I looked around for some clues. I couldn't really find anything. Maybe you'll find something. Your mother found inspiration in that. She believed the oceans held many secrets for us to discover. The secrets beneath. That's my mom, a stubborn dreamer. Indeed, and so was Gandhi and everybody else who made this world a better place. Unpack your things. We're gonna meet out here at the beachside bar for drinks. See you in a few minutes. Mom, where are you? There, bud. Cheers, mate. Nice one. So what are you doing in town, anyway? Just snorkeling. Snorkeling? Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the lady got taken by a great white shark yesterday? Yesterday? Yeah. Cheers. Guys. Guys, come over. So... So, the barman just told me there's been a body of an unidentified woman found not far from here. What? He said it was a great white shark attack. Great white thing in the industry. It's been confirmed. It's a great white. What does it say, Bomb? White woman, 40s. Gotta be a tourist. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Yeah, let's jump into the car and let's go to the police station. The police are on the mainland. We have to wait for the ferry in the morning. Then I'm going at daybreak. The body hasn't been retrieved or confirmed. Can you send them a message or call them to see where the body is? Of course. We can go with you. No, no, you stay here. Hopefully it's not her and you will just keep looking for her. Guru will take me. Right, Guru? I'm always with you, Sheila.
Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, the police sent us to look at the shark attack victim. It might be this girl's mother. And unfortunately, I kind of have a bad feeling about this. The police just called. We can show you. May I see your passport, please? Yeah, of course. We've had the body moved to a private room for you. Why? Our cadaver storage has several other shark victims that you'd rather not have in your mind's eye. Um, do you know where the, these shark attacks are happening? We only know where the bodies have been found. The tides and currents can move a body many miles along the coast. Please, this way. Yeah. The news said it's a great white shark. Uh, the bite pattern and the size match. We've also recovered a tooth that's indisputably a great white. Water temperature is screwing with the migration pattern of fish, polluted waters. This world is just going crazy. Here we are. Are you sure you want to see this? <laughs> it's a plastic people. I, I don't understand. Nothing. I'm sorry. I need official identification from a family member. It is my mother. I want that really mm. oh. Her wish is to be um, cremated and uh, for her ashes to be spread in the sea at the sunset. I'll have that arranged immediately. Let's complete the paperwork. Can I just have a moment with her? Yes, Please. of course, of course. I don't know what you were up to or where this love of yours is, but you know I'm stubborn. I got it from you. I will, I will find out what is going on. One hundred shut it down. And get justice for you. I love you. Mom, I 
love you. I'm releasing your earthly remains into the sea as you wish. May you find happiness in eternity, where one day it will be, one day it will be you and me again, together. <laughs> She always knew what to say. No matter what the situation was, she was just, she had wisdom beyond, beyond her years. But your mother had a way of just comforting me. And again, she was like a sister and she just knew how to say the right things to me. And that's, I think, where your mother and I became really, really close and became really, really good friends. Because we knew each other then, but we didn't know each other that great. But she just kind of held me and just, said all the right things, you know, and it was a beautiful moment. And uh, we spent a lot of time that night walking around the woods, just her and I. And some of the friends thought we had gotten together or something, and which we didn't. We were just friends. We just became very close. And so I always was very comfortable with your mother, as you, as you know. But uh, yeah, we had some really good times when we were younger. And I just, she always knew what to say. Do you know how I met your mum? No, she never told me. Christmas Eve, years ago. I was at a bar. Oh, I was an idiot, such an idiot back then. And uh, I was with some so-called friends. Didn't know your mum then. And uh, the so-called friends had tricked me into thinking uh, that I was having a drinking competition. And uh, they weren't drinking alcohol, just me. And they kept pouring shot after shot after shot. And your mum was watching this. And uh, I was a state, a complete state, really, really in a bad way. And uh, they left me. And I walked outside and I passed out. And uh, your mum called an ambulance, Christmas Eve. And I went to the hospital and I had my stomach pumped and I woke up Christmas Day with your mum next to me. And uh, <laughs> she gave me the whole spiel like your mum does mm. about how you do any anything is how you do everything. Mm. And the people who you, you surround yourself, you become them. And then never look back. Sounds like her. that right now. Your mum was truly inspirational. I'm sorry, Dean. For what? For how I left things between us. You know that phrase about if you love someone and set them free? Don't feel bad about it. Yeah, but you know, I have a life in LA and I had a boyfriend at the time, I shouldn't have crossed the line. So what? It was a vacation fling? Dean, you know better than that. Sheila, you are amazing, but life doesn't always lead us down the roads we want. I want you to know that I will always be there for you in whatever capacity, except as a stranger. Thank you, Dean. Are you going right back? Are you asking about us or me? You. I'm not going anywhere. 
I made a commitment to my mom and I have to fulfill it. What about you? I'm going to change the planet the way your mom inspired us to. Good. So let's start by sorting out Guru's conspiracy theories and find my mom's work. And finding this shark is the priority number one on my list. But it's just a shark doing what sharks do, like any animal does to survive. Dean, you know I'm an animal lover, but if I get a chance, I would skewer it through the heart and roast it over the fire. Each of you were here to help my mother and the planet. I'm going to stay and pick up from where she left off. If you want to continue, please do. But if you want to go on, I understand. Rest well tonight. Tomorrow, we start looking for the answers. Cheers to that. Cheers, guys. Cheers for that. The problem yeah. lies in two main areas. We've got plastic use and plastic waste. What is the difference? Plastic use is essentially where we have these uncontrolled landfills and all the plastic is blown out into the ecosystem from there. The plastic waste is when we have all these uneducated people coming out of the markets and they have all these plastic bags that they're just tossing out into the streets, which gets into the environment. 13 million metric tons of plastic end up in the ocean each year. Plastic waste kills up to a million seabirds a year. Humans are not immune to this threat. While plastics are estimated to take up to hundreds of years to decompose, some of them can break down much quicker. But, you know, it all ends up in the sea, all the particles. We've trained and launched several local cleanup and recycling efforts over the past six months. But the problem lies with litter and the use of plastic in general, from drinking straws to shopping bags. Eliminating these plastics will certainly put a foot in the right direction to rectifying the situation. Yeah. Everything up until now has been focused on management of the problem. The company your mother started, Plant Plastics, is focused on elimination of the problem by replacing plastic with plant-based organic matter that has a biodegradable lifespan of less than 30 days. Mm. And there lies within the danger to us all. Plastics is a $1.2 trillion industry. To put that into perspective, the tobacco industry is one third of that. And we all know the tobacco industry is pretty evil. And they're responsible for killing people all around the world. This is a good time to show you a little video that I made just before. Here, take a look. Plant plastic is dedicated to finding a sea plant-based material to replace or at least reduce the use of plastic in the short term. Our target short biodegradable lifespan, the organic remains that are rich of nutrients rather than plastic that kills. The technology is within reach. We're seeking donations and equity funding to perfect the process and to farm genetically modified seaweed in the planet's largest farmland, the sea. Let's plant it for the planet. I just finished editing it last night. It's not going anywhere, it's just for you, for us to see. But where is that lab? I don't know. Amanda gave me the footage. OK, seems like it would be easy to find a building with that logo on it. Your mother wanted to keep that a secret, a secret location. But why? Apparently, this seaweed is its kind of like this special endangered species or something that you can't find anywhere, but she found it. And it's her secret location, and she didn't want anybody to know, especially the plastic people. OK, so anyone have a chart of the coastline? I think I can get one from the local dive shop. Cool, let's do that. Good day. Hey. Hey, we're looking for information on offshore currents around these waters. 
we found some stuff on the internet, but local knowledge is always best. What are you looking for? Uh, if a small boat drifted from one to three days, could have ended up in Kimsha Bay. Hmm, it's a big area, many islands, lots of coastline. So we will need a chart that will cover the whole area. What are you looking for? Just the charts. Oh, and the information about the currents, tides, and waves that we can find online, please. Mm, smart girl. The internet doesn't have all the information. Yeah, neither do we. What's your business here? Um, we're organizing a small eco race, boat race, instead of gas and oil. Sailboats? Rowboats. Uh-huh. So the current runs this way, about three knots. And if you're lucky with a full moon, it can go as fast as six knots. And here, the shallow water at high tide is passable for an hour or so. But the current runs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will, we will take all these and also this. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything else you would like to know about the sea. Do you know anything about the great white shark everyone is talking about? Huh? Um, it's, those are small boats and you want to steer clear from any stray shark, if you can imagine. Then you got to steer clear of the entire southwest area and the mainland and all the islands in it. Do these charts cover those areas? I mean, we want to make sure we don't go anywhere near. Yes, they do. And the shark is suspected of taking one of our local fishermen women just the other day. And another woman that might have ended up in uh, Kimsha Bay. Is anyone hunting it? Well, every other game fisher and local poachers are trying. Oh, well, hope they will succeed. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, before you guys leave, we would like to remind you that we're a certified diving shop. Since you guys be spending a lot of time in the ocean, and it's also a fun skill set to have. Uh, well, we are here for work, not fun, but we will consider it. Thank okay. you. Bye. Yeah, there was an American girl here with some of her buddy or boyfriend. Uh, she was asking about the great white shark, and she bought all the charts for the Western waters. Mm-hmm. Yes, I told her about getting a diving certification. Yeah, but I'll keep an eye on her for you. Yeah, sure. I could use more processing power. Would my phone help? Uh, first simulation is done. Okay. It's everything on 107, mm -hmm. 109, and the southern part of 100. How many drift days? One. And the second simulation indicates to do the same three charts as the day drift but actually all of 100, so. Okay. If your mother's body drifted from the northern part, from this region right here, uh -huh. it could mean that she might have ended right here. Anywhere on chart 92, really. But we don't have a chart 92. It's, it's only international waters and a couple of un uninhabited islands. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's leave it then. Assemble the troops. <sighs> I'm famished. You know what consumes more calories than sleeping? No. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. <sighs> oh.
Okay, so what we're going to be doing today will be some classroom. So we are going to be learning all the theory behind diving. You excited? So what we'll do when we jump in, we'll practice some skills when we're down there, okay? We'll practice how to remove the regulator and put it back in and clear it. So we'll breathe in, take it out, pretend like we've dropped it, put it back in and push that button. If we are going to find this lab, the best clue so far is my mother's body. Where it was found is not where she was killed. POM already ran a few simulations and we have two quadrants to search. So Luca and POM, you will search this area. Dean and I will search this area. Guru, you will track down Dr. Linden Rose. All right, no problem, but you guys, you have to be really, really careful and we can't tell anybody what we're doing. Yeah. Please memorize these as we cannot walk around with them, yeah? Let me have a look at this real quick. I might have an idea on the search area. I don't tell anyone what we are really doing and stick to the cover story of organizing a boat race. Oh, this looks okay. Okay, you guys go ahead. As Dina and I, we have to do final certification test today, okay? Good luck. Yeah, good luck, guys. I don't even swim. And be careful of those underwater sea aliens out there. Why are you not helping? Well, the best way to practice is to be in real life situations anyway. See? No problem. What happened back there? I panicked. If this sort of thing's gonna happen, you shouldn't be in the water. Then you know I'm a good diver. I know it's been a while, but... I just have too much on my mind now. But we have to keep looking anywhere we can. Let's just make sure there's not another search team out looking for us, okay?
Hey, dude. Hey. Thank you. You're cleaning up the beach. Oh, somebody has to do it. Plastic grows quicker than mushrooms in forest. It's really tragic, but I'm really glad you're here. I wish more people around the world would think and act like you. We have to use social media to spread the word and bring awareness to this. Absolutely. It's all about education. Totally. All right, dude. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thank you. Yep. Ah, no luck? Nope, no luck. You? I saw some kind of sea alien, space alien, shark attack victim, a dead body on the beach. But you know what? Whatever it is, it's not going to get me. I know better. I thought it was some plastic people after us. No, no, no. They don't do their own dirty laundry. Which one drink? A strong one. Make it a devil. Yeah. Love birds approaching. You know, young people can fall in love too. Oh. And lust also? That too? You think they found him? No, I don't think so. What makes you so sure? Oh, I know, I know, I know. They, they didn't find it. No. How do you know? Know what? <clears throat> Did you find the lab? <sighs> no, not even close. We didn't either. Dr. Linen Rose? Gary, mate, what have you been drinking? You smell like disinfectant. <laughs> two, I guess two days of drinking and not a lot of food probably does something stinky, huh? So two days of drinking, and how long have you been looking for him? Mm, um, he found a dead body on the beach. Two days. Well, it was a dead body, but I don't, maybe it's a sea aliens, or, or maybe it's a shark. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a dead body. Uh-huh. And you stopped looking for the last person that saw my mother? <clears throat> I know things. You know what? I'm sick of you and your conspiracy theories. Sea aliens and plastic people. You are no wise man. You're a child believing in goblins and fairies. We are better over there with you and your wisdom. You all better get out of here. You're not going anywhere. But you did, a long time ago. I know things. What do you know? <clears throat> I know where the lab is. <clears throat> <clears throat> Water's all you're getting, old man. Mm. You hit me. And there's no apology coming. I'm sorry, I know I kind of babble on when I'm drunk about all the aliens and stuff. I don't mean it. You know, I love all you guys like you're my own children. <laughs> you mean grandchildren? Oh, yeah. And your mother. 
you know, I've loved her so much. You know, not in a romantic way, just, you know, her spirit, her energy. She's just so beautiful. Where is the lab? Emerald Lagoon. It's in international waters. Yeah, that's chart 92. Listen, that's in super remote waters. It's beyond jurisdiction, low, no law enforcement. If we go out there, we're totally on our own. Pom, any recent aerial images? No. I'm going. Luca? Dean? Nice You're gonna need me and my paranoia. It's not just paranoia, it's not just justified. Give us the facts. No more stories. The facts are, Dean, we're gonna need supplies for over a week. This is really remote. We're going first thing in the morning. you guys. Look, let's take a photo. Boom, stay away from this. These are really poisonous. They kill an elephant. Those are really dangerous. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to save your life. You guys, stay away from those mushrooms. They're really, really poisonous, all right? You okay? <laughs> Welcome to Plant Plastics. Gary, you sure? Yeah, this is it. Explain. All right. Everything was Photoshopped. The logo, everything you saw, it was done to impress, you know, help investors, all that kind of thing. But this is where she spent a lot of time with him. There is literally no signal here. Huh, I think I can extend an antenna up there. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, it surprises a lot of people. But the real work takes place in the lagoon here. I hope so. Lennon Rose did this. 
What? This isn't my conspiracy theory. He had a master plan where he and your mother were gonna buy all this and just live happily ever after. Sounds a bit jealous. Yeah, there's something. Pum, what do you think? Let's see what we can find on it. Hmm. 50-50, platter's not shattered. Those are linen rows. Yeah, and so is a bungalow. You're all trespassing. Guru, you should know better. I can't believe you're still alive. I can't believe what happened to Amanda. It was them. You're Sheila. She spoke about you. Well, she never mentioned you. And who's them? The plastic people. We were on the verge of a breakthrough, and she used to swim every evening. There's not, there hasn't been sharks in these oceans for years. They put that great white in the water. They're trying to kill us. Enough about plastic people. Just tell me about the current state of research. Amanda was working and strengthening the seaweed-based material for practical use and to give it a biodegradable life of less than a year. Amanda wanted to take the project global, and now she's dead. We all gotta get out of here. We're gonna die if we don't. Definitely a great white shark. Are you sure? Yes. You can tell by the blue-gray dorsal fin on the top. I don't know, I can't see. How can you tell it's a great white shark? They blend in with that blue and gray you can't see from above. They shouldn't be within a thousand miles of here. They're sniffing us out organically. My mother was right. Going global is the only way to stay safe. Bom, try your idea with Antina, and let's launch a global campaign with GPS coordinates of this lagoon and a shark warning. And let the hunters sort it out. No! Don't do that. You're gonna regret it! You're all gonna die! No, no, let him go. Don't worry. I got everything on camera. No one wanders alone into the jungle. Bom? Tell Dean and Luca what you need for antenna. Let's see what we can find on that hard drive. Guru, help me clean up the bungalow. What? Linen Rose kept calling this his lagoon. He's crazier than I am. Well, it doesn't make you sane. What do you know about your mother's financial records? Nothing. Palm. While you're hacking, why don't you check and see what you can find on her mother's financial records? What are you thinking? He doesn't want us to be here at all. I wonder where that seaweed farm is. No. No one is getting into the water until the shark is someone's trophy. Protecting gelidium log pipes is our priority, but we can save the planet only if we can stay alive. Are we good? Good. Let's go. You all right? Yeah. Um, antenna's ready. Just make sure you put it at the highest point. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. cool. Hey, guys. You ready to go? Yeah. So, uh, it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah. Let's set it up over there. Yeah, it's a good spot. You got the tape? Yep, cheers. Do you reckon the AM broadcast range is going to be okay on this? 
yeah, we've got it as broad as we can get it. This might be our only link to the outside world. What are we looking at for the line of sight? I think we'll be good. Between here and the mainland, we should get very little interference. Yeah. All right. All right, that's not... What are you thinking? Tape. Cheers. Thanks. You know what? I think I'm gonna uh, catch you up. Don't tell Sheila. I'm gonna have a little swim to see if I can locate the gel. You know, the gel, whatever long stuff. Okay. Okay, but don't take too long. No, I don't. And keep it. Don't tell. All right. Be careful. Yeah. The antenna's up and connected. I got the link. While you guys are taking care of this, Luca and I will be on the beach collecting trash and firewood. OK. What was that? I saw something. There's, there's someone out there. Lean on Rose. Mm, hopefully. Mm. Oh, Sheila? I need a drink. Sheila, come here, take a look. I think we got some videos here. We got some footage. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah. That's one. What's happening? Where did it go? Why it says it's not available? Where is it going? Why is it disappearing? It's all gone? What's happening? Just tell them to go to hell. <sighs> they can't trace our current location, but they can get to the homeland. I swear this only happens in B-rated movies, CIA, NSA level stuff, so. Okay, um, just drop our link and let's stay dark for a while. I didn't check this bungalow for bugs. Then I'm gonna kill that shark. I know it's horrible, but we're here to protect nature, not kill it. 
home. We're still connected. I'll double check when we get back in. We need to radio the mainland just to report his death, just so we don't look guilty. Lynn and Rose didn't report it either. That's exactly why he looked guilty. Let's get out of here. Smartest girl I know, but that's as stupid as it gets. Your obsession with the shark is losing focus of the main objective. 
which is to recover your mother's formula. I know. And I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. Abracadabra, open says me. We're in the hard drive. Hopefully formula's there. Land deed for Emerald Lagoon. Whose name's on that? Amanda Williams. Who else? No one else. This isn't his lagoon. It's yours. Her will passed ownership of plant plastics and the Emerald Lagoon to you. I'm starting to appreciate good news. That's not good news. That makes Linden Rose more dangerous. More dangerous than the plastic people. He already thinks this is his lagoon. But it's not his. No, it's not his lagoon. And Sheila, what happens if you die? Huh? If you die, like your will, who gets all your stuff, your inheritance? I don't know, I, I don't have a will. I suggest you make one right now. <sighs> okay, I will put a will on my to-do list. <laughs> to-do list? Just make sure you do it now. Why? So I can leave the lagoon to you? No, but I suggest like a large corporation would be a great benefactor like Greenway. They specialize in plastic alternatives. Plus with all their power and muscle, they can go after the plastic people. I'm gonna go for a walk along the beach and think about this. In about an hour, we'll be packed and ready to head to the mainland. All right, I'll be back to help you guys out. I just need to get this clear, all this craziness clear out of my head. Don't go in. Are you guys crazy? I don't swim, let alone with some great white shark. You guys are just crazy, man. I don't see Guru anywhere. My mom spent every penny on this research. We have to find a formula. The Conservation Institute of Europe wants to send a team to check out the Gilliam long pipes. Huh. Yeah, we need a team like that. None of us are marine biologists. And uh, unless we want anyone else to help us. <laughs> Thumbs down. I'm going to look for Guru. OK. Yeah. You took this one. I don't know. It's a good idea. You own the place. It's like owning the land that has oil. OK, then send a private message with our coordinates and ask them when they can come. But don't sound too eager, not too chill either. Like ticking clock emoji? Uh, let's stay emoji free on this one. Okay. Okay, good send that. Now let's wait. Huh. They respond fast. Day after tomorrow. That's great. Fireworks emoji. <gasps> I found Guru. That's great. Maybe tell them maybe if they can. Guys! His body's too far out to retrieve. It wasn't a shark, but someone wanted to make it look that way. I found his sandal on the beach with a trail of blood leading to the water. 
Must be Linen Rose. That's my bet. We have to get Guru's body. I agree, but it's not possible without putting our own lives at risk. We need to get out of here. Call a water taxi. They won't come out at night, but first light's just as good. Sheila, we have to report the deaths. Yes, Bomb. Please report it. We need to get out of here before something bad happens. OK. Uh, please ask Water Taxi if we can come tonight for triple the rate. OK. My mom, Luca, Guru. I don't know who to blame anymore. We're not giving up. We're surviving. We'll come back with the research team and whatever police are willing to hunt down Dr. Linen Rose. Please make sure you get the Guru's body on the way back. You're not staying here alone. Without formula or seaweed, we had nothing. Now's not the time to be stubborn. Maybe. But if Linen Rose thinks that we left, he will come back and I will be waiting for him with this. Oh, so now you're going to kill him like you're going to kill the shark? Murder is murder and there's a penalty to pay. It's going to be self-defense. Anyway, I'm just going to cripple him and let the shark do the rest. Organic elimination? Isn't it how Guru would call it? Sheila, you're not thinking straight. Dean, it's a good plan. What if Linen Rose comes back and kills what's left from the seaweed and grows it somewhere else? You heard, Pom. You own all this. OK, so I will put no trespassing sign here. That will do the work. The problem with all the save the planet people is that all the kill the planet people think they can do whatever they want. You can't meet violence with violence. Yes, I can. Then I'm staying with you. No, you have to be the COVID palm. Sheila, I'm staying with you. Dean, he's not going to hurt me. He loved my mom. How do you know he didn't kill her and let the shark take the blame? You're an idiot. Maybe. But I'm an idiot who loves you. You know what? You were just a vacation fling. Are you sure there's nothing else? Anything before, just anything before it. Okay. Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> Any luck with taxi? No water taxi until 7 a.m. No water taxi until 7 a.m. No water taxi. Okay, can you check the disc again for the formula? Did, done, none. All right, the next thing that comes through this door is getting skewered. Are you sure there are no hidden files? I'll take a look again. There's so many secrets in the sea. Secrets in the sea? Formula. In the most secured, old-fashioned way, handwritten on the paper. So you'll come in the morning? Sheila? What's going on? Sheila was thinking of staying. Thumbs down emoji, no. We need to protect that formula. My mother made a mistake of protecting this formula. Let's post it for the whole world to see and use. It's worth millions, if not billions, if it works. That's not greed, that's reality. Giving it away... It's the best way of protecting it. When it's out, we are all safe. No, Link. 7 a.m.? I can check the antenna. And leave us here alone? There's only one spear gun thingy. OK, we all go. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot anyone. I'm gonna go hide in the closet, okay? You guys just get back as soon as you can. 
We can do it from the mainland. No, sooner the safer. Until then, we're all targets. Yeah, this is where we put it. Maybe Pom can repair it. He's out there. Let's go. Pom! She's still breathing. A spear gun? Are you serious? Put it over there. Now! Both of you, get out. I said out! Keep moving, come on. Let's go. You are as stubborn as your mother, you white D-list. Neither you or her have what it takes to make this world a better place. And so, you're gonna sign the company and the lagoon over to me. And then, I will let you live. Simple as that. Our lives for everything my mother built. Oh, by the way, I have the paperwork ready for you. I just need the signature. How did you know my mother left it to me? She told me. Then I killed her! Only the pen. What happened? It's over. Save the world? Save the world.